real YouTubers invite guests to get varied content and to pretend they have friends. <laughs> that was really good. Um, <laughs> what's going on, guys? It's your boy, man with many friends, uh, bringing you an episode of Wolf Hangs Out with his friends who did well in a tournament so that he can make you a video on it. Hooray! <laughs> um, so today I am joined by uh, one of the greatest Pokemon players of all time. Just kidding. I'm not joined by myself. Uh, just kidding. I am joined by Marcus, uh, who is... Funny. Um, <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know, Marcus and I have been playing VGC together for... Uh, since we became, like, best friends in 2012. Um, but yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. You started playing in 2010, right? I, yeah, I went to my first Nationals in 2010, but I also played the format the year before, okay. but I was too young to go to Nationals. Right, okay, so you've been playing since 2009, I, joined, I started in 2011, um, and yeah, um, when I won the World Championships, I'm assuming most people already know this, but just in case there's anyone who doesn't know, um, <laughs> <laughs> when I won the World Championships, um, I did it with Marcus and also with Brendan Zhang, and we actually had to play in the top four of the tournament, so... Um, yeah, so, um, long story short... Uh, spoilers, yeah. I lost. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, long story short, we've been playing Pokemon together, we've been friends for many, many years now. Um, Marcus is a two-time national champion, um, did you get second at nationals, or am I an idiot? Yeah. In Paris? Yes. Okay, yeah. 2012? 2012, yeah. yeah. Okay, just making sure. Um, yeah, multiple times world's competitor, um, moved to commentary in recent years, however... Um, hmm. Hmm. However... Um, yeah, I made a comeback. It made a comeback. So what happened was, actually, do you want to do you want to talk about the tournament? Because I didn't participate, so maybe you're better. You maybe you're better off. Also, I just spoke a lot for you. Is there anything you want to say uh, to introduce uh, yourself? Yeah, hey to everyone. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> Let's <laughs> talk about Pokemon. Yeah. So I was approached um, and asked if I wanted to take part in a in a tournament that had um, some of the like best players. Of course, you can't get everyone, but yeah, like eight of the very best players in one tournament. And so um, Cybertron, Aaron Zhang participated, for example, James Beck, Pokey Alex, Satan Park, mm -hmm. Francesco Pardini, Eduardo Cunha, and James Boyd, and then also myself. So yeah, it was a very, very tough tournament. And due to everything that was going on in the world, um, they yeah came up with this idea and hosted this tournament. But it was a little bit different from other tournaments because this time around um, you were actually able or I was able to change teams for every single opponent that I had and I would only play one set per week. So yeah, that gave me one week of time to prepare for the next opponent and to come up with a new team and then you would play them and then yeah, they would tell you who your next opponent is and the same thing would repeat. So yeah, I did kind of well in that tournament. You won. And <laughs> spoiler, I won, yes. <laughs> spoiler. But so, yeah, after winning in top four, um, because of like how things were going out since there was only one, just one finals game, uh, the finals game was actually scheduled to be just two days after I won my top four game. So I didn't have a lot of time to prepare for the finals. And then also, which is probably worth noting, finals would be played in a best of five. Mm -hmm. So usually in VGC, it's either like ladder is best of one or tournament play is best of three. But yeah, because they could do whatever they wanted, of course, uh, they said finals is a best of five. And so I had one day to prepare and I was playing against Pokey Alex mm -hmm. from Spain, which is yeah one of the best players of all time, essentially. Mm -hmm. And also someone like after I stopped playing in the recent years, he's someone who would, um, I would say, has like, like he's considered to be one of the best in Europe. Whereas back when I was like really active, I was probably considered that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that just gave me some extra motivation to try and win. So yeah, I didn't really know what to do, but I had some ideas. So yeah, I asked Wolf what he thought. And yeah, we came up with this, I guess. Yeah, so before we talk too much with the team, we have to give credit where credit is due. Um, this is the original... This is the original, um, this team was heavily inspired by a Japanese player by the name of Clear Beach VGC. Um, yep. He used this team to finish 1842 in the April IC, uh, and it's extremely similar. Um, in fact, it's almost identical, I think. Um, the differences are Hatterini on our version has Mystical Fire over Safeguard. 
Um, Dust Clops is... Just Cops' moves are different instead of Nightshade. Yeah, when I when I started uh, listing the differences to a friend, I realized actually in the end, like almost everything was different. Oh, really? And yeah, just the Rhyperior and the Venusaur stayed the same. Right, I guess that's true. Yeah, so Dust Clops yeah. has different moves and a different spread as well. I think we changed the EV spread. Um, Torkoal is the biggest difference. We'll talk about that, but our Torkoal is entirely different in items, moves, and uh, the way that it mm -hmm. plays. And then on Hatterini, um, Alex really likes Durant, and so. We knew that um, we knew that there was a pretty good chance he would bring Durant, and so I recommended we drop Protect on Hatterini for Mystical Fire because it gives you better options against Durant. Um, yeah, so I think if you want to try out like one of these um, hard trick room teams with also a Sun Mode, like both of these rental codes, they should work pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, and it's yeah, just to keep in mind that my team was specifically built um, to play a best of five set against uh, Pokey Alex, like, mm -hmm. which is one specific opponent in a very specific tournament setting. Exactly. Yeah. So we did want to give credit to, um, to, to the original builder. Um, but yeah, basically, so, you know, Marcus, Marcus and I were talking cause we wanted to make sure that he won. Um, and <laughs> yeah, um, I don't even remember. Yeah, you won. You, go ahead. Yeah, you won the IC, mm -hmm. and now I won this. It's mm -hmm. like almost like old times. Yeah. Yeah, actually, good. that's a good point. Yeah, that, that's very. Yeah, that's true. When we don't have live events, winning winning online events is pretty good. Uh, um, <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, Marcus and I were going back and forth on, on what we on what we were thinking about. He should use like we were considering Alex and his tendencies, and like the, we knew that he liked certain Pokemon like Colossal and Durant. Um, we knew he normally brought like a Water type, either like Rotom Wash or Milotic. Um, we expected either Arcanine or Incineroar, so we were picking up on tendencies. Um, but yeah, I think we were just kind of like playing back and forth and trying different things. And then mm -hmm. Marcus pulled out this team, and he was like, "Yeah, I don't think this team will work. Like, it doesn't beat Mimikyu Durant." And I was like, "I think I could beat Mimikyu Durant with this." And so we tried it, and we were able to win. And so yeah, then we started kind of looking at this one more seriously. Um, it is worth noting, by the way, that like there was only there was like a pretty short window. Like Marcus said, he he. One top four on Tuesday, and then he had to he had to lock in his team on Wednesday for yeah. um for the finals. And so, uh, some of the choices like personally, I don't really agree with the Dusclops move set. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but like so there were some things that were kind of like last minute decisions that we didn't test, like yeah. Mystical Fire and Ndidi, which ended up being really really helpful in the finals, for example. Um, mm -hmm. that that was a really good call, but I had recommended Safeguard, but we didn't like we didn't have time to test. Um, that one, for example. So same kind of with yeah. Dust Clops, it was a last minute addendum. Yeah, with with Dust Clops, um, it was very late at night, and yeah, I was just practicing a little bit, and I noticed that I, I don't know, that I really wanted to add Brick Break, which on the original team, um, the creator did not have any move to self activate weakness policy on Rhyperior. Mm -hmm. So we had decided that I wanted to have Brick Break, but I didn't know which move to drop, and yeah, I dropped Nightshade. It was Probably not my brightest moment. <laughs> I should have I should have dropped Will O Wisp, but yeah, it, it ended out like it worked out in the end, but yeah, Nightshade is probably better over Will O Wisp. Right. Um but yeah, it worked out in the end anyway. Um so yeah, that's kind of the backstory of the team. Do you wanna go through like anything in particular? We definitely have to talk about Torkoal. Um do you wanna talk about the the general like theory of the team and how it generally works and how it flows? I yeah. Think, I think we should talk definitely about how the, how the Venus are changes the dynamic of, mm -hmm. of everything. So yeah, I'll, I'll let you start and then. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually the first time in my entire VGC career. I know that you started off being like a hard trick room user, mm -hmm. but like I've used it here and there when I thought it was good. Actually, in 2016 on our Worlds team, I think it was the first time where I. That I don't was know, like I really room, had to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like. That was the first time I used it in, in like an important tournament mm -hmm. ever. And now mm -hmm. this is the first time I'm actually using like hard trick room. Right. And with hard trick room, like early format, a lot of it was just leading in DD, had Rini, turn one, follow me trick room, and then hope they KO in DD. So you could bring in Rhyperior or Torkoal, and then you just attack and you hope that you win within five turns, or else, yeah, you would probably lose. Mm -hmm. So trick room just like other archetypes has evolved a little bit since that and now yeah with the inclusion of venusaur uh, actually gives it a lot of tools to i think a, um, like i think cut out there it gives it a lot of tools to to for, what um to do stuff even outside of trick room mm -hmm. so yeah with ndidi is also max speed on this team so like an ndidi and venusaur lead is pretty fast actually so yeah 
that can do quite a lot of different things. And then you also have all the tools of like the hard trick room mode with um, two trick room setters in Dust Gloves and Hatterini and then Rhyperior and Hatterini, two very, very strong Dynamax and yeah, Gigantamax Gigantic respectively. Versus. Yeah. Um, I think what I like about Venusaur is that if you run an offensive Venusaur, both of its stabs boost its special attack, although in different ways, uh, with Sludge Bomb actually boosting its special attack, and then mm -hmm. Max Grass setting the grassy terrain to power up future grass moves. Um, Frenzy Plant is used because it's the strongest grass type move in the game, and it allows you to, well, outside of Fire Pledge, Grass Pledge, or Grass Pledge, Water Pledge, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, it allows you to, like, the damage is actually pretty significant, and the damage yeah. increase is pretty significant as well, so, yeah. Um, I didn't think that, like, I guess the theory is that most of the time you're better off using, like, Sludge Bomb or Sleep Powder Earth Power if you're not Dynamaxed, or, and, or if you need to Frenzy Plant, you maybe use it as a last, last ditch anyway. Um, because one of the advantages of Frenzy Plant is it's, it's exactly as strong in Dynamax as non-Dynamax, it has the same mm -hmm. base power, so... Um, when you're dealing with something like that, that means that if you think Venusaur is going to get one shot or going to get KO'd that turn, you can just go for a Frenzy plan anyway, knowing you won't have to waste the recharge turn and maybe getting a positive trade. Yeah. It's uh, really strong. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Marcus explained pretty pretty well uh, how this team generally functions. I think the interesting thing that we should talk about is Torkoal. Because um, Torkoal is very different and unlike many other Torkoal I've seen so far. We were playing, and I think it was you, Marcus, who brought up the idea of body press. Like, maybe mm -hmm. running Body Press on Torkoal. And then that, of course, sparked in my mind what would happen if we ran Max HP, Max Defense, Bold Torkoal and how much damage that would do. Um, because, a lot like, since Venusaur is the main sweeper on this team, and, like, if you want to set Trick Room up and you're able to get Trick Room up anyway, you already have both Hatterini and Rhyperior as solid sweepers. Torkoal is a little redundant if you use it as, like, the typical uh, eruption set. But you do need Torkoal because of the sun for Venusaur. And so I considered, like, what would happen if we ran a bulky Torkoal. Um... Body Press is really good because it boosts both your defense and your attack when you use it. Or, like, by boosting your defense, you also boost your attack. And after running a couple of calculations, you actually have a really good chance, like a 75% chance, to Oko Max HP Tyranitar. Um, and you also survive Max Rockfall. And, like, Torkoal is base 140 defense, which is kind of insane. It hits over 200 defense stat with the investment we gave it. Um, and so... Yeah, Body Press is, like, a very powerful move. And it's also not affected by Snarl, which actually came into play in your set, Marcus, when yep. you played to a Torkoal Arcanine endgame and you were able to win because he had Snarl and you had Body Press. That was really cool. Um, and Yawn is one of the best moves in the game, and the fact that Torkoal, you know, can survive Max Rockfall from Tyranitar and then can Yawn back is pretty helpful. Um, because, yeah, putting a Yawn on a Dynamax Pokemon is... It, it, yeah, it really, it really puts your opponent in a tough position. Um, and... I originally had Heat Wave or Flamethrower on Torkoal, I think, and then used to just overheat Marcus because we figured, like, Torkoal's not going to be going for that many overheats, and, like, one overheat with this investment is about as strong as one Heat Wave with, like, max special attack and charcoal, so at least you get, like, some... You can, you can at least do damage, um, and most of yeah. the time you're probably better off yawning or body pressing anyway. Yeah, and with that specific set, it actually changes the dynamic in some matchups quite significantly. Like, mm -hmm. as you were saying, against Arcanine... Usually with Snarl and maybe like Flamethrower, Arcanine could probably win a 1v1, like depending on how much HP they have. But with Body Press, there was just no way. And then also the Berry. Mm -hmm. um, the Berry. Which, yeah, really helps it um, to yeah really fulfill its role in setting up Sun. And then also, yeah, against Tyranitar, Body Press is just so brutal for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a hundred percent. And the surprise factor is really nice as well. Like nobody, like there's no way Alex was prepped for body press mm -hmm. Torkoal because yeah, we. It's just it's just not something people are ready for. But I think it was I think it was a really smart call, and it ended up being like it it changed the dynamic of the final set. So, um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you want to jump into a game? Yeah, let's do it. So as you guys can see, uh, Marcus is renting this team, so you can try it out for yourself, uh, for yourselves if you want to do that. But for now, we're actually going to jump into the ladder. I was number one last night. Let's see what happens since then. Ooh. Yeah, we could get bodied because, yeah, this team, I mean... It was built for best of five, not best of one. Built for best of five, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is a very different... Ah! Oh, uh, <laughs> 63. <laughs> okay. Well, at least... Uh, where is it? It's called a VGC. Okay, cool. Yeah, because since there was already a rental code, I named it the same way. I noticed also, you named it the same thing. It confused yeah, me for a second. Yeah, put the Pokemon on the same position. <laughs> Wait, that's so mean. Then someone, if they had both rented, they couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they could tell with the item. 
Okay, true, 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 true. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. Um, okay. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, it looks like they have they potentially have a Tailwind and a Trick Room mode for that Gigantamax Lapras. Mm -hmm. Um, Venusaur looks pretty strong here. It hits four of the Pokemon for super effective damage, and the two that it doesn't are mm -hmm. Dusclops and Conkeldurr. Yeah, I think I would, I I kind of like had uh, sorry Indeedy Venusaur lead okay. potentially. Okay. With Torkoal plus one in the back, what do you think about that? I can I can dig that. I was also thinking about Torkoal Venus lead. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'm a little bit worried. They might. Hmm. Yeah, actually, like. Hmm. Yeah, it could work. Like if they do Whimsy Card Lapras, they would turn one Tailwind and Max Resonance into Venusaur. Is that a problem? Um, I think we switch to what if we did Torkoal Venus or Dusclops Rhyperior, and if they do that, then we yawn and switch to Dusclops turn one. Okay. Yeah, they could have Max Lightning though with Tailwind. That's true. Um, they definitely, they probably do. Well, then we'd have to. Then we, in that case, then we call the, we switch to we switch to Rhyperior and we try and eat the Max Lightning. <laughs> this is my idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's let's try those ones. Okay. This doesn't feel like a bad matchup though. I feel I feel like one of the things that we knew about this team is that there's a lot of different modes you can do. Like you have Sun mode. You have um you know other modes you can do as well and so it's it can be tricky to figure out like it can tr be tricky to pick the right pokemon like for what your opponent brings which is why we liked it for best of five but it's a little harder in best yeah. of one because you can't see the was, sets or anything yeah i was gonna say like in best of five i'd feel really confident against mm -hmm. this team oh a hundred percent yeah but let's see what they do Ooh, oh this might be the um uh, this might be like the the max speed right here. I've played a couple of those. Mhm. Mm but it's still slower than we are. Mhm. Mm exactly. Even in Tailwind. Yes. So what do you want to do here? Because it kind of feels like we have all the onus. Hmm. So we could switch in Dust Clubs and go for an attack with Venusaur. Okay. And what do you like that more than just attacking the Whimsicott? Because like getting rid of Whimsicott could be pretty good for us. Do you want to overheat it? I was thinking overheat or... Uh, yeah, I, I actually like overheat. Do you like that? Mm, yeah, that's that's fine. It's, then, it's probably going to be um, Sash. Sash. Yeah. I'm a little worried that he might go for uh, Trick Room for some reason, but I don't know. If he, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, do you want a Frenzy Plan or Sleep Powder the right period? Mm, I would Sleep Powder. Okay, I agree. Yeah, because we don't want... Yeah. Yeah. Don't want the recharge turn. Oh, Ooh. that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. <laughs> Although, we're not going to take that much damage from this. I think it might be Life Orb. Yeah, and we'll take it with... Oh, 100%. Purple. Yeah, that's Life Orb for sure. Oh, it's not Life Orb. Interesting. Is it Choice Band? It must be Choice Band, yeah. It shouldn't be doing that much with that Choice Band. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way it does that much. Like, we live Max Rockfall. There's no way Rock Slide should be doing that much. Hmm. So, we could go for Max Grass in that case. Okay. And Do you then, like that more than just regular Frenzy Plant? Huh. At because, this point? Like, they probably have... Like, what's the worst case scenario? They have Lapras and... Like, they're going to Tailwind this turn, and then they have Lapras and Arcanine in the back? Hmm. So you want to switch into Dust Clubs and Frenzy Plant? I think we need to get rid of the Torkoal, because otherwise we'll get taunted, you know? Or get oh, rid of the Whimsicott. Rid of the Whimsicott. Hmm. What Why happens if... Frenzy Plant? Yeah, I'm a little bit afraid that they might switch into Lapras, but yeah, let's go for Body Press and... We can Max Grass or, or Frenzy Plant, your choice. Let's go Frenzy Plant. Okay, okay. If you can input it. I did it very nearly. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, Tailwind. Okay, so that should be two KOs if we hit. Yes, and then we can probably use Dust Clops to stall them out. I've never seen this animation. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a risky turn one on their end. Although Safeguard really helps them, truth be told. Yeah. Good, yeah, we could have just killed them. Yeah. This is a situation where I really like having Dusclops in the back, because, yeah, we can probably stall out their Tailwind and their Dynamax and go from there. Oh, we have Brick Break for Resonance. That's actually super good. Yep. Yep. But we are kind of in a rough... Like, this is a little bit of a tricky position. Who's that? Yeah, they're gonna get one KO for sure, and then the other one. That's probably Lapras. They could try and get. Yeah. Okay. So I say switch Torco to, to Dust Clubs. Clubs. Yep. Yeah. Hundred percent. This will also tell us and the items, which tells like means we will know if we can weakness policy mm -hmm. them. 
find out the items. Light clay, okay, and life orb. That means we can. That's probably life orb iron fist, right? Uh, probably yes. Oh, but we can't burn so we them could. because brick break or because of safeguard. Yeah. Wait, does safeguard does brick break break safeguard? It doesn't, right? No, it shouldn't. Okay. Yeah, safeguard is actually kind of annoying because yeah. yeah, with two different sleep moves and will o' wisp, mm -hmm. we lose a lot of potential. Yeah. So, but now they also they have to get rid of Venusaur mm -hmm. this turn. They do, yeah. Max Grass could have been nice. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's fine. I think though we can. I think with this though, where it's actually not bad for us because we can just pretty easily stall out like, we could stall out their um, the effects. Mm -hmm. and we can stall out their Gigantamax now because if we go Torkoal and protect in Trick Room and then, Brick Break in Trick Room. Or Brick Break and do whatever, then we got Rhyperior in and Trick Room, and yeah, I can probably win the game from there. Right? Yep. So, yeah. Yes. They're gonna probably go for um, Max Geyser into Torkoal. I agree. Two turns of Safeguard. Mm hmm. Yes. So, yeah, Trick Room Protect seems solid. Yeah. Yeah, we could also Will O Wisp the Conqueror next turn. Uh we have one more turn of safeguard after this. Tail All right. and yeah, then we have to break break. But yeah, we, we need to Yeah. Geyser comes out. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll go for double max geyser. Although I think they kinda have to go for double oh that into Dusclops. Yeah, that's not gonna do a lot though. I don't think that's gonna do very much damage. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's too bad. If Safeguard ended this turn, we could just yawn will wisp and that would be it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. We should probably Brick Break something, right? Yep. Wanna... And Body Press, I guess. Yeah, I think we should double the... What do you think? Because, like, the Conkle just... Well, what are they going to do this turn, right? Are they going to... Because, like, they... We could maybe double the Conk? No, let's double the Lapras. Okay. Because if they Drain Punch... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, realistically, I don't think they're going to Drain Punch, but it's, it's fine. Oh, well, good move, Marcus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stalling out their own safeguard. And Tailwind. <laughs> well, that actually helps them. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Guys are excellent, okay. so that was perfect. No more Aurora Veil. Rhyperior is lower base speed than Lapras, right? Should be yes. like pretty pretty significant, right? Yeah, so we could... Um, we could max Rock Will-O-Wisp if you wanted. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the other play, and we could also just Brick Breaks ourselves, mm -hmm. and... Does max Ground KO? Should KO Conqueror, right? Yeah, but I, I'm not confident we'll take a Hydro Pump in Rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think brick breaking is fine. You want to brick break ourselves? Or actually, I think there's a pretty good chance that he will protect the Lapras this turn. I agree. That's why I maybe Will -O Wisp is better. Yeah, yeah that's Will -O Wisp max rock for. Yeah. Because we can still go for the for the brick break next turn if we mm -hmm. know that like what we can KO. Yes. But I, yeah, I don't. I think that if we ignore Lapras and get it wrong, we would lose. Whereas if we ignore Conkleder, especially if it's burned and we're Dynamaxed with Solid Rock, like we shouldn't be in that much danger. Yeah, and so he'll activate the weakness policy for us. Oh, that's I hadn't even considered that. Yeah, because we don't because we broke the Rorvia, we definitely don't need it to KO the Lapras. Yeah, yeah. This feels like a pretty favorable land game, though. I've seen me lose these. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But I felt like we had to cover it anyway. I think it's fine. Also, setting up sand. Yeah, sand. Yeah, Never. plus yep. Yeah. Yeah, and if he if he activates our weakness policy, then there's not much else we could have done. That's true. Yeah, brick break wouldn't have been any better. I mean, the only thing is if they're guts, I just assume they're iron fist. We're pretty soon where we can just we can beat Lapras one versus one with literally brick break. <laughs> because of the sand. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <Like> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they activated weakness policy for us. Yeah, they're definitely not guts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Fevzi. Thanks, Fevzi. <laughs> 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 hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can paint split, and 
Max Fighting. Oh yeah, Max Fighting is probably better. And then we yeah, that way that powers up Dusclops' Brick Break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pains for the uh concrete. The conk, the yeah. damage. Yep, and then Max Fighting the Lapras. Right? Yep. Just confirming. But this um seems one. GG. GG. Cool. So that was that was pretty good. Even though like the turn one didn't go as well as it could have, I think we played really smart with how we damp like dealt with their Dynamax, and then yeah, your Dust Clubs yep. actually we used every, every we would have used every move there, Marcus. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking smack. We'll yeah, do like more. the the guy who built the team or like who had the same six Pokemon on his team, he said that he didn't feel like weakness policy like self activation was needed because your opponent is going to do it for you because <laughs> they think you're going to do it and then. <laughs> and they're like, well, I may as well attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, okay. This is almost... This is similar to something we would have expected Alex to bring. The Mimikyu. Yeah, Arcanine this is Melodic. almost uh, Satan's team. Oh, okay. But is it him? I can't... I'm not sure. Um, I don't know his in-game name. I don't know his in-game name either. Um, but yeah, he had, he had the same stuff against me with Driftblim over Bravery. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, he did. Um, so what do we do? This one's a little tricky. Okay, but he's, no, he's um, currently streaming with Driftblim still. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, if we get Trick Room up, it's going to be really nice. Yeah. Torkoal is going to be good here, I think. I kind of like Dusclops, Venusaur, Torkoal, Rhyperior. Dusclops, Venusaur. I'm a little afraid of... Um, Very, this, yeah, like Mimikyu. Mimikyu, yeah. yeah. We could do... um, We could do Ndidi Hatterini. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, Dusc... Oh, yeah. Sorry. And Dusclops were superior in the back, because we don't need fire moves for the Frothorn. Right. I think Ndidi Hatterini is solid. Do you want to do Dusclops superior? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I think we're very. I think there's a pretty good chance that, if, depending on how the turn one goes, that we die. Uh, Gigantamax Hatterini. I think they're definitely gonna lead Mimikyu. Yeah. I think so too. I hate the I hate the mind game where it's like, are they gonna trick room so we should attack, or are they gonna taunt so we should, you know, <laughs> attack. Attack. <laughs> we should. So we should trick room. Follow me, trick room, or our psychic trick room if we expect taunt. Yeah. Yeah, Mimikyu has a little bit of a problem against this type of lead, because, like, you can taunt the Ndidi, but then, like, it's just very slow, unless yeah. you, like, Dynamax or something. Yeah. Uh, well, this seems, like, pretty much as good as we could ask for, right? Yeah, this seems kind of solid. I mean... They're gonna Earthquake and get their damage off, but, like, it's fine, right? Yeah, I guess. Follow me, Trick Room? Hmm... Yeah, they probably they could earthquake and max knuckle or something like that. Yeah, but then yeah, they get they KO us, which would give us a free switch to Rhyperior. Yeah, yeah, Fo yeah. Follow, me, follow yeah. me. The room seems fine. So even if they're like whirlwind or something. That's true. Yeah. Although we you no have magic problem. bounce, so no Dynamax. Oh, maybe they're earthquake rock slide. Hmm. Oh, maybe they're rock slide, rock slide. <laughs> rock slide, rock slide. That's yeah. a lot of damage. What the heck? Okay, it was Rockslide like Bravebird. You think we're gonna flinch? Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Of course not. Of course not. It's some big recoil damage. Yes. I read something um, on a Japanese blog, like mm -hmm. on a Japanese player's blog, and he was saying, yeah, like, this team, like, auto loses to Trick Room if they get it up, so lead Excrudible, Tyranitar, and Rockslide, Rockslide, and you have a 50 50 chance. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, what do you think we should do in this case? Because this one, this turns a little tricky. I, I would like to delay Dynamax for a turn if we can. Sure. Like find a way. Well, the thing is, I don't know if Excadrill would Dynamax here, so we could go for Rock Slide and Mystical Fire both into the Excadrill, or Rock Slide into both because I don't think they're they're not going to Dynamax Braviary here, right? Huh. They could. Yeah. I mean, they could like yeah. Does Does Rock Slide Mystical Fire KO? Uh, yeah, it should. Excadrill's defense is pretty bad. But their special defense special is pretty defense. bad. Yeah. I, I would expect Mystical Fire to KO. What's, wait, what's the base power? 75. It's not super strong. I think, I think it will. Okay, then let's do it. Okay. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. 
Ah, oh, that's okay. Oh, maybe they're stalling. Yeah, but that would be fine. Oh, okay. Well, if it doesn't yeah, KO, they'll flinch. Oh, it wasn't even uh, close. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Weakness policy. <laughs> Weakness policy, please. Okay, no. Yeah, it's probably Sash. It's probably Sash. I mean, oh, I, I meant like maybe they'll activate our weakness policy. Oh, oh yeah, they could do that. Flinch! Oh, oh, okay. Well, Goodbye. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, they didn't Dynamax, but neither did we. I think we just brick brick ourselves and click the rock slide button. I was thinking the same thing, yeah. <laughs> we could definitely still win this, I think, though. But does does rock slide even KO them? Uh, it should. Like, because Rock Slide did... Yeah, 100%. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yep, then let's do that. I also think there's a pretty good chance they didn't bring um, Ferrothorn, because we had Torkoal. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's probably Milotic and Arcanine in the back, or... Maybe Mimikyu. Maybe Mimikyu, yeah. Mimikyu Arcanine would be really good. <laughs> Though, yeah, Milotic, if they Dynamax, it could be kind of problematic. Yep. It could be kind of... We shooting. might need to... Yeah, we could, we might need to find like a way to get like plus three by clicking Max Knuckle at some point. Yes. If this was like a longer series and we would play them again or something. Yeah. But yeah, let's see. Okay, Rockside connects, which is good. It's a two-two, which is good. I'm really surprised Mystical Fire didn't KO. Shows what I know. <laughs> Maybe we should have an expert belt header in me. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> Alright, show me no Milotic. Show me Arcanine and Mimikyu. <laughs> Arcanine? Mimikyu? Okay. Mimikyu. We can okay. burn that. And... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Marcus, it's Lumberry. It's Lumberry Braviary. Yeah, so we can Willow us for free. And, <laughs> and just, uh, Max... What do you think is better? Yeah, they're the same base power, right? Yeah, but one of them gets special defense boost and one of them gets sand. Yeah, so I guess we want the sand. I guess so. And will wisp the yeah. queue. The thing is, it, like, this is, yeah, sorry. Oh, this I was gonna be, say, like, oh, go ahead. Uh, I was thinking this could be um, protect trick room or something, but even that doesn't really get them anywhere. Right. Yeah, they'd still like, get they just they they kind of have to dynamax their mimic queue. Uh huh. To I'm worried about wood hammer a little bit. Yeah, like max overgrowth. Yeah. But if we get the will wisp off. Oh, that's true. Yeah. What if they dynamax Arcanine? To survive. I mean, and then do what? <laughs> I, guess over they could the will I guess they could Willow Wisp us. Okay. Oh, Mimikyu just Dynamaxes this turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, the problem is we can't break Mimikyu's disguise. Yeah. And, don't, and like, just cops can't. Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Rock, can I just protect? Nope. Okay. I, okay, that's a big connect. As long as they're not Rostberry. <laughs> <laughs> Rockfall is better, by the way, because, like, imagine they were Shuka and we just forgot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, like, just getting a little bit of damage. Yeah, I was planning for the for the end game where we can't touch the Mimikyu. Okay, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't haze yeah. away defense drops either. Okay, Phantasm, yeah. that's good. Okay. That's really good. Okay, we can Pain Split now. Yeah, that yep. did not do very much damage. Pain Split, Max Rock, I yeah. guess. I think Max Ground is ground, technically sorry. better, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, yes, they're Life Orb! We can beat them if they're Life Orb because they'll damage themselves. <laughs> yeah, this could be mixed Mimikyu, you never know. You never know. I mean, I ran... I mean, I, I tap Coat World with special Mimikyu. Oh, this, wait, this could be... They could Max Guard this turn, but even then, they probably don't KO Rhyperior next turn. We could just protect Trick Room and, like... Or, yeah, yeah maybe not protect... I don't know. But, yeah, they probably still don't. Um, I'm gonna Pain Split. Break, break, this is not going to heal very much because it's, although with life or mimic you they take oh very nice optimal <laughs> yeah we could have gone pain split on a superior but we probably no didn't i think need it. yeah i think it's probably better to let dust club stick around yeah this went pretty well well it's not over yet i'm still kind of scared of max overgrowth because hmm. we're going to be burned. minus two defense. They're burned, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This isn't going to kill. Shouldn't Optimal pain split. Saved yeah. us. 
Nice. Hmm. Are you debating between protect trick room and just attack? I think we just attack. I agree. Oh, we're still yeah. dynamaxed? Oh, I forgot that we had yeah. one return. Okay. I'll just quake and trick room, I guess. Mm, yes. Because, yeah. No reason not to, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if they one shot right here, you're. Ooh, they have There's it. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way this kills. <laughs> they, they tried. They tried. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did what they had to, right? Like, they got, they gave us the minus two defense, mm -hmm. and without the burn, it would have KO'd, but fortunately enough. We had a Will Wisp. <laughs> we run Will Wisp. For, yeah, these situations. Yeah. That's, that's you know, you're not wrong. I mean, <laughs> it was true that if we had it, if we had uh, night chain, we could have just <laughs> we didn't know how to take the attack. But um, cool. Okay, so not bad at all. Not bad at all. I would say. Yeah, GG's. And we brought every Pokemon, which is fun. Like even in just the two games. Yep. And they all did good. Yeah. Which is really nice for like showcase. And both of them were higher ranked than you were before. That's true. That's true. You want to see? Let's see where we uh, ended up. Just I'm just curious. 9-0 is not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Hey, hey whoa, whoa, this is probably going to go up. This is probably going to go up before that one does. Actually, no, it'll probably okay. go up after. That'll probably go up after. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Nice. Cool. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, guys, that's the team. Once again, I'll just pull it up in the rental codes in case anyone changed their mind about wanting to rent it after seeing our... <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a really cool team, and, yeah, I think, I think like, it's probably better in... Oh, that's not it. Um, it's probably better in like a best of more than one setting, but it's still strong even in best of one. I think the strengths of the team really mm -hmm. are the the difference of the modes, the, and the fact that like a lot of the modes are viable in like in the same matchup. So you could easily do both the Venusaur mode and a or a Trucker mode in the same matchup. Um, and so yeah, even though it's not like built for best of one, it's clearly still like good in best of one because your opponent still has to play the same guessing games in mm -hmm. uh, team preview. So yeah. Um, I think that's kind of all I wanted to say. Uh, Marcus, do you want to give any closing words for the for the people? Yeah, like anything, like about the team, I think it can be very, very difficult at times if you are not used to playing with Trick Room teams and you don't really know like what to go for. Like even myself, I struggled a little bit in the practicing um, before the match because I wasn't really used to it in this format. So yeah, if, if it doesn't click with you and you don't like it, then yeah, maybe try another team. But... <laughs> Yeah, if you put in the time and, um, like, perfect it, I think it's a very, very strong concept. Yeah, I like it a lot. I thought it was super strong. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please brush your teeth, and um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.